Hey, Shalom and welcome to Rakam Bakapash from Jimmy Slonin, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Yahweh Kodash. Want to give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and Shalom out there to the hopeful that pushing his truth with all sincerity. Uh, coming at you again with another video. Um, this one's been inspired by uh, 1 Samuel chapter 12, verse 22. Okay, and it reads here it says, For the Lord would not forsake his people for his great name, for his great name's sake. It's because he have pleased the Lord to make you his people. Right, and you know, this is something we, would, we always push and we'll continue to push. Right, the Lord is not a man that he should lie. Right, anything the Most High has said is sealed and set in stone, okay, and cannot be reversed. Right, the Lord made us his people. Right, the Lord has not forsaken us and never will forsake us, despite our transgressions against him. Okay. The Lord sent His only begotten Son to save His people. Okay. Not the whole earth, not, not all these nations, but His people, the, the children of Israel. Yahweh was sent to save them. He is their Redeemer. Okay, you know, as Yahweh means He saves or He delivers, right? He was sent for His people. Right? And you heathen had nothing to do with that. Right? And this also makes the point for his great namesake, you know, for those who don't really put any importance on the names of the, the Heavenly Father and his, and, his, uh, and his son. Okay, his great name. He hasn't got a regular name, you know. He's a great name and we have to respect that. Respect his name. Respect his power. All right. He ain't just any guy. You can just, oh, you're right, Dave. No. The Lord is a great king. Right. And we are to address him properly. All right. But reading this again, verse 22 For the Lord will not forsake his people. Right. Israel's not been done away with. Okay. It is important to the Israelites. You know, you heathen, you, 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 you funky Christians out there, you know, like to believe there's no importance of the nation of Israel anymore. That anyone, can, anyone who believes can be delivered. That is not the case. Right. His people have not been forsaken. There's no replacement theology. We can't be replaced. Okay, the Lord is looking for the chosen out of his people, the remnant, the elect, out of the children of Israel. So yes, it is important to us, man. It is important to us for, to, for us to know who we are, that we are the Israelites, pertain, you know, according to the scriptures, not according to DNA or documents, because right, they just don't, they're just not, they don't exist. There's no proof or evidence of anyone going back to anybody of any relevance. All right? According to the scriptures, according to the Lord's word, his prophecies, his signs. Okay, we are those people, you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and now the sentence that are scattered abroad, they, they pertain to us. Okay, so it is important. Alright? So the Lord will not forsake his people for his great name's sake. Right? Because the Lord, the Lord chose us to be his people. He gave us his name, you know, basically, right? He named us, you know, the children, the sons of God. That's what he named us. The sons of Yahweh. That's what it really all it means. That's who we are. The children of God upon the earth. The princes of God. That's who we are, man. And due to our transgressions, guess what? You know, we, we you know, like a brat in, in a supermarket, you know, just throwing tantrums in, in, in the fucking super mall, <laughs> supermarket, right? I mean, you make your parent look bad, man. And all you want to do is whoop them, man. But, but you, <laughs> you know, if you did that, man, you make yourself look worse. <laughs> Especially in today's uh, uh, climate, you know. But, you know, we was acting brash and, you know, we, we brought the names Lord into disrepute among the nations, man. Because the Lord had to, to whoop us in front of everybody. It makes it look like, you know, because these nations were able to get us, that the Lord has no power here. The Lord, is, you know, the Lord isn't a power. When he is the only power, <laughs> you know, understanding. So it's made him look bad. He's made him look weak. In front of the nations, man, that these idols that they, they, you know, these idols that these other nations worship are somehow, you know, got power when they don't. You know, because every time you know a nation came up against us, guess what? They praised their their gods because they defeated the, the Israelites and, and their god in their in their eyes with their idols. But that's not what happened. The god, the, our power, Yahweh, was with you to destroy us, man, and to and to and to subdue us. That's that's all that happened. Because the most I want to put punishments upon us, man. And not because your, your your idols are strong or they or they they were even real. That's not what was happening. 
And that's why the Lord is going to show himself in his, in, his, in his end times, man, who the real power is. Okay, and, and, and you know, people are st going to start to understand why everything's happened the way it's happened, man. Because we're out here breaking it down to you, you know, every week. Breaking down these scriptures to you, man, and, and you know, what's going on in this earth. Okay, the real. All right. So this is for his, uh, so he, for the Lord will not forsake his people for his great name's sake. So he's going to redeem his name. Right, he's going to be respected once more in the earth, man. And once that's been established, man, the Lord's going to be respected forever. Because everybody's going to know that the Lord brought this great judgment upon this earth, man, and delivered his people through Yahweh Shai. You know? It says, because it have pleased the Lord to make you his people. We are the Lord's people, man. End of story. There ain't nobody else that could be the Lord's people. Right? He never chose no other nation. No other people from any other nation. All right, so we're gonna get into you know I, you know I, what I did was I, I just typed in here the search bar for you know namesake, All right, and just brought up some precepts concerning that. All right, so the first one Psalm seventy nine. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna start from verse eight here, right? You see, in verse seven is speaking about um, uh, Jacob, right? Oh, now let me read up a bit more actually. Poor. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to from verse 3, right? So their blood have, have have they shed like water around about Jerusalem and there was none to bury them. We are become a reproach to our neighbours, right? Because we went off. And so the, these, these nations around about us started, started talking shit because the Mosai started punishing us. So they felt like they was getting, you know, one over us, man. You know, they started disrespecting us and dis disrespecting our power. All right. A, a, a scorn and derision to them that are round about us. How long, Lord, wilt thou be angry forever? Will you leave us in this desolate state where all these heathens are chatting, chatting shit about us? Are, we, are you always going to leave us in there, like in that state? Hell no. Because it just makes the most I look bad as well at the end of the day. And the most I don't want that. So for his name's sake, he's going to reverse all of this. Right. And put these heathens in their place. Okay. So how long Lord. Will thou be angry forever. Shall thy jealousy burn like fire. Pour out thy wrath upon the heathen. That have not known thee. These, these other nations don't know the Lord. Never have done. The Lord has never commanded any, anything to them. To follow him. To, to you know. To follow the laws that just commandments. Nothing. They've never done this. Alright. So, so how can it be that. You know, fast forward to today. Now the door is open to anybody. When did the Lord ever do that? Yahweh should come to do the will of His Father, not His own will. Yahweh should never change anything. You know, concerning these heathens, that you know, the heathens are the heathens, and they got the, they got the judgment waiting for them. All right. Um, they have not they have, that have not known thee, and upon the kingdoms that have not be, not called upon thy name. They haven't been given the Lord's name. For they have devoured Jacob and laid waste his dwelling places as it is this day. Right? They've been the same, we're in that position now, right? So, oh, remember not against us form iniquities. Right? Don't remember our sins. Have mercy and forgive us. And that's what ultimately the Most High is going to do. Okay? Through the faith that the elect are going to demonstrate, or the elect are demonstrating, you know, towards you how I believing in his son. Okay? Their sins are going to be blotted out. Right? Which is going to enable us to um, start again. Yahweh Shai was the first of us, man. Right? But everybody that believes upon Yahweh Shai shall be delivered, shall be saved. Right? And we're going to start the nation of Israel up again. Okay? Um, a clean slate. So, you know, as I said, our, our iniquities are not going to be remembered. Okay? Um, help us, O God of our salvation, for the glory of thy name. Uh, like jumped. So verse 8 again So oh remember not against us former iniquities Let thy tender mercy speedily prevent us For we are brought very low Help us O God of our, of our salvation Right For the glory of thy name Deliver us Because that will put everything back in its proper place Okay And these, these, these heathens understand You know The people are going to be reaffirmed You know We're going to be uh, Full of joy And, and, and you know 
we're gonna we're gonna understand all this, right? The heathen are gonna be put in their place, and everyone's gonna know that the Lord Power Yahweh is is the God of 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 all the of the all all of the earth, right? And that we are His people. Okay, once that's been reestablished, order shall be reestablished. Okay. Um, and purge away our sins for thy name's sake. Okay, it's our sins because we're the ones that transgress the law. Because sin is transgression of the law. We're the ones whose sins are going to be purged away. It's not these heathens, man. They're just wicked. They're not under the law, but they're just wicked, man. So they, they they get punished based off just being wicked. You know, we're the ones that really sin. We you know sin is breaking that contract <laughs> that we made with the heavenly Father, man. You know, it's a sin to break that that contract. All right. Um, so wherefore should the heathens say, where is their God? Right, and and people look at us now, you know, Jake down and down, down bad. Like, who's gonna save us? Ain't no one gonna save us. These men can't even act right, live right. You know, they kill each other and all this man is taking drugs and whatever. That's not like beasts. They ain't got a god. Look at them. You know, and uh, but when we talk about being saved and that, these people don't take that seriously, man. You know, you think you a whole bunch of Edomites are gonna be saved, a bunch of Nephlanders, man. But you're gonna burn. You're gonna burn. We Edomites are gonna burn, man. All right, we're the ones that are gonna be delivered. All right, it says um, wherefore should the heathen say, where is their God? Let him be known among the heathen in our sight by the revenging of the blood of thy servants, which is shed. The Lord is gonna revenge uh, uh, himself upon you, heathens, man, for the shedding of our blood, the Israelites' blood. All right, and that's that's what the Lord's always done. No, they ain't done nothing different. It's the same thing over and over again. Cycle repeat. Egypt.